Mikel Lapierre. Strong Island. Strong Island once again. <laughs> At the Garden for Trilliverse. Let's turn that down. Tree Controversy with FightB3CT.com. I haven't been back in a while. Jeez, get the time up on the screen. Uh, Chris Algieri has turned... <laughs> Chris Algieri has returned from a 26-month layoff. Former WBO 147-pound champion after that upset win years, years back on HBO against Ruslan Provotnikov. After Ruslan Provotnikov put a boot in Tim Bradley ass, right? It's in the same timeline. Um, Chris Algieri, 24 and 3 with 9 KOs. He has been trapped in a cage for God knows how long, but I can say that he looked good. You know, it was a brief moment there in about round number nine where it looked like he was possibly on his way to a stoppage. Now, I'm about to say some bullshit. I see something. I want to see Chris Algieri versus Josh Taylor make the fight happen. I see something. What do I see? I'm not going to tell you. Probably Chris Algieri getting beat up. But still, I like Chris Algieri. He's the man. Also, I've been covering Chris Algieri fights. I, I was looking and thinking like, damn, I covered all these fights. So they're going to give us some highlights here. There's the uh, punch stats. Pause it if you have to. Um, Lord knows. I don't know who the hell is fighting on this card. My first day back in boxing after about a week and a half, maybe close to two weeks. He fought a Mikel Les Pierre. I covered Mikel Les Pierre. Oh, let's turn it up. Hold on. Let's listen in. Please subscribe. Take a time out. Like the video on T Street Controversy, the FightView360.com. Chris is just a busier man and, and the more accurate man at the end of the night. Well, there is Mikel Le Pierre, who's visibly uh, disappointed. No, but he gave, he, you know, he gave me a good effort. He gave me a good effort. And let's go to Sean Wheelock with his unofficial scorecard. 99-91, Chris Algieri. I felt Algieri took the 10th and final round off. He knew that he had certainly done enough to win this fight. So credit to Mikel Lapierre. I thought he fought hard, won round number 10. Rounds one through three were close. Algieri absolutely took over and dominated this fight, rounds five through nine. Now to get the official decision, we send it up to ring announcer. Here is Mark Frado. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the world's most famous arena, let's get a big round of applause. These two warriors win all 10 rounds here in the center of the ring, Hulu Theater in the Mecca of Boxing. We now go to the judges' scorecards. Judge at ringside, Ron McNair scored this contest 99 to 91. Robin Taylor and Steve Weisfeld each saw the bout 100 to 90. All three judges in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, the fighting pride of Huntington, Long Island, New York, Chris Algieri. So Chris Algieri, after 26 months away from the ring, a unanimous decision victory. His 51 punches landed in the sixth round was a career high. It was target practice for the Long Island native, your fellow Long Islander. And he can, can proudly wear that New York fitted on his head with pride, <laughs> knowing that he represented <laughs> Long Island. Well, Watch some highlights here. Talk, there's really nothing to talk about. We don't know what Chris Algieri is doing next. And also, he's been, you know, pretty inconsistent over the last several years, a few years. So we can't really say, well, who's he targeting? At one point in time, he was targeting um, Maurice Hooker when Maurice Hooker was champion. You know, I may be confused a little bit. It's been a while and I haven't really done enough research, you know, to, you know, on this fight or what Chris Algieri has been doing. The last time I saw him in person... It was a Danny Jacobs fight. I believe it was Danny Jacobs versus who? Sergey Derevyanchenko. I was there, by the way, in this same building, the uh, Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden with all them feather punches. This is when he almost got the stoppage. But look, that shit looked tappity tap 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 you know, he's never been known with his nine KOs to be a knockout puncher or anything like that. I do remember another fight of his I was at, Chris Algieri in the Barclays Center, the fight immediately after he fought Manny Pacquiao. I remember, didn't he hurt Chris Algieri with a body shot? And people were like, oh, shit, he motherfucking hurt, um, excuse me, Amir Khan with a body shot. Um, I want to listen to the post-fight interview. I hope, hopefully they give him one. So this is Free Card on Fight.TV, um, produced and promoted by Triller. As you can see, they're running the Oscar De La Hoya promo here. 
He's returning on September 11th against uh, Vitor Belfort. I actually watched that whole press conference, and I'm going to be uploading all that stuff to the channel, selling the fight. Um, so far, if you don't know, Triller has been having some issues, serious, significant issues. Just look at Tiafimo versus George Cambosos. Damn, they're not going to give my man Chris Algeria a post-fight interview. Here, let me do a little bit of a jump cut. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Man, no, no post-fight interview. Well, nice little good scrap. Um, here's the card, actually. It's um uh Triller versus with um Dipset versus the Locks. I was never really a Locks fan growing up when it was with uh Bad Boy um uh records under uh P. Diddy wearing the shiny suits and shit. That was around middle school, high school for me. Dipset, Cameron. All college, my whole college campus was bumping that shit. Here was the card. Michael Hunter versus Mike Wilson. And everybody else outside of Chris Algieri, Lord knows I don't know. This Mike Wilson guy, 21 and one. Jesus. Talk about withered. This guy looks like he's been through it. Here they are right here. Oh, maybe it's just his box rec picture in the lighting. Because he don't look too bad right there. But right here, he looked like, you know, I was going, I, 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 it's not bigotry if I say, you ever see the show Oz from HBO? Like, he looked like an inmate. But if I was a white man saying a black man looked like an inmate, then that would be bigotry. But no bigotry here. I'm T Street Controversy with fightv 3 ccom I'm going to go make my shrimp scampi right now. You want to see what I'm making for dinner? I'm making this shit right here. And I'm going to watch and cover this card. And uh, we're back tomorrow. Manny Pacquiao's having a media workout. Yeah, I'm making this right here. Either this one or this one. I even got my uh, Pinot Grigio. But anyway, all right, I'm out of here. I'm T Street Controversy with Fight B360. Please subscribe.